The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at in the world, you could be in the Ukraine as long as you're here with us at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m., and 3 p.m. S&P's up uh, 43 points. Is that right? Let me update this just to make sure. Eh, 38 points. It's uh, been kind of light. We've seen some fairly big five-point moves almost instantaneously in it. So it tells you that there is some problems uh, with uh, liquidity in the market if it's moving that up and down. Uh, there isn't that much. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go out and check uh, what it looks like uh, for uh, volume. And volume is pretty good, uh, 7.8 billion shares on the day. Of course, uh, I was looking for Apple to be up, I thought, maybe 170 bucks. Uh, it's been kind of wallowing around the 168 area for a while. Uh, I haven't looked at it in the last few. Let's see what it's got. 167.58. Uh, certainly, it looked a bit better uh, than the rest of the market, as did uh, Microsoft. Uh, one of the reasons uh, people asked me yesterday if we'd go short yesterday, and I said no. I said if uh, if you're going to get an opportunity to reshort this market, it's probably going to be on the close, and you're not going to really have a good idea on that until Monday morning or actually Sunday night futures. So it depends on what you're doing. I am going to probably not do anything and wait for the Sunday night futures. Uh, we've got uh, trains uh, going from Russia to the Ukraine border. Uh, they are full up of uh, troops. Uh, some of those train cars are uh, basically blood mobiles with hundreds of gallons of blood. Uh, so they're assuming that there's going to be uh, some uh, real problems. And uh, you know what? we got two things happening next week. First of all, China's stock market closed all week. That's got to make the people uh, in uh, maybe China feel a little bit better. If uh, Russia's going to do something, they can wait and get a week before everything settles down, before they start trading again. Uh, the other thing is uh, it is a moonless night, February 1st, in the Ukraine. And going back to probably 1900, probably even earlier, uh, the idea was to forecast those. Uh, there's nothing like uh, sneaking around in the dead of night to help things. It's a little different now. Satellites uh, make it really tough to uh, see uh, or hide things like crane movements that we're seeing today. Uh, the administration is saying it's all but uh, a done deal that they will invade in the next few days. So the question is, what does that do to the stock market? Um, it's pretty tough to say. I'm going to say that if they do invade uh, with a thin market and China being off, I wouldn't be surprised to see two or 300 points down next week in the S&P. If they don't, Maybe we can go sideways uh, through uh, fund buying. We've got our markup for fund buying, which uh, actually starts uh, on, yeah, for the most part, I, I'm starting to get a fairly decent model. But normally you get uh, maybe 10% of it in by or 15% of it in by the first. Uh, it depends on how the uh, dates fall. But, of course, the last day of the month is uh, Monday. Uh, so you, it's supposed to be the last two days of the month, first three days of the month. You're supposed to be 100% invested if you have a fund. And then the uh, money manager will sh uh, hedge that position if he thinks it's doing better or worse. So you've got really Monday through Thursday for fund buying. Uh, could they hold it up all the way through that it, without a uh, pro problem? But, yeah, I, I mean, I, it's hard to remember 
a market that uh, looked weaker and had just a couple of tent poles holding the whole thing up. Uh, so uh, at best, I think you go sideways into the third. At worst, we actually get the news that everybody's expecting that uh, Russia has invaded the Ukraine. They want that for a variety of reasons. Uh, they like the land. Uh, more than anything, um, it's uh, worth about 30% of the wheat production. And uh, that's after out of about 50% of the wheat production in all of Europe and in the world, too. Uh, we're the other big wheat producers out here. So, yeah, uh, they got kind of the green light from the administration. Uh, no one's saying that they're going to do anything. Uh, we've kind of rattled our swords by saying we've put people on alert. But I don't know what good that does. Uh, by the time they got there, uh, it would all be over. So kind of a paper tiger here for uh, Western democracies, including the U.S. Not a lot of leadership. And all it can make me think of is uh, Germany invading uh, Poland and Czechoslovakia and many of the other countries. Uh, why most of the people that uh, talked a great deal about uh, caring about others uh, look the other way. It's not our problem. Um, these things tend to move around the world very quickly, though. You never know that one spark moves another one. Uh, for us... Uh, it doesn't change a great deal in the very short term, but it does change the perce uh, per perception of the U.S. A as kind of uh, someone who can uh, make things happen in world events. Uh, we're the only one that has a really big stick. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's it's tough. Uh, to me, the bigger problem uh, is China, and that does uh, if. Uh, there's really nothing done but lip service uh, for the Ukraine, uh, which you can make a case that it's not in our national interest. Uh, just kind of gives the green light for China to go in and uh, uh, say that, uh, yeah, it's ours. We're just going to take it. What are you going to do? Uh, much less we shoot back. What is that going to do to the stock market? So there's a lot of questions about what right and wrong is. Probably not an easy question to um, answer. Uh, we don't, any of us know the uh, truth uh, in advance and why history gives us a, a guide. Eh, things aren't exactly all the same. But uh, I would say that uh, if I was a despot who uh, loved killing tens of millions of my own citizens and harvesting their organs and selling them, i.e. China, Thanks, uh, by the way, to the NBA owner who said no one cares about that stuff. Uh, apparently, he didn't think about me. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of problems. I also think that there are problems for companies like Apple uh, and uh, the NBA and uh, Nike uh, that uses that slave labor. Maybe it becomes more of an issue. People ignore a lot of things until it uh, actually shows up. We'll be back after this. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. On this day in 1986, a cold morning like we're going to have down here in Florida tomorrow, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart after liftoff, killing all seven astronauts on board. And uh, maybe the one of the best speeches ever by a president of the United States, probably uh, just behind the Gettysburg Address. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd plan to speak to you tonight to report on the State of the Union. The events of earlier today have led me to change those plans. Today is a day for mourning and remembering. Nancy and I are pained to the core by the tragedy of the Shuttle Challenger. We know we share this pain with all of the people of our country. This is truly a national loss. Nineteen years ago, almost to the day, we lost three astronauts in a terrible accident on the ground. But we've never lost an astronaut in flight. We've never had a tragedy like this. And perhaps we've forgotten the courage it took for the crew of the shuttle. But they, the Challenger 7, were aware of the dangers, but overcame them and did their jobs brilliantly. We mourn seven heroes. Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista Mikulov. We mourn their loss as a nation together. So, yeah, always a big day. Everybody, you know, that were was a little older than me remembered where they were when JFK got shot. Um, for my generation, a little bit after that, it was all about uh, uh, this day and pretty much 9-11. But uh, we'll always remember where we were on those big days. I remember how this changed my life. I was uh, in a meeting uh, trying to sell a ton of computers uh, to W.R. Grace, a big uh, uh, outfit uh, downtown. And right in the middle of the presentation that we'd worked on and a big deal for over th three or four months that was going to be my salary for the year, they started uh, running into the room and turning on the big TV and showing the uh, sp uh, space shuttle blow up over and over again. So uh, I did what everybody else did. I thought I should do anyway, which is I went in and quit because the rest of the year was going to be a wash. And uh, yeah, 
got a ticket to uh, take a cruise down in Miami. But uh, that was me. A week later, I was uh, eh, trying to forget it and uh, having a nice cruise. And uh, I'll always remember not only the cruise, but I'll remember getting into the cab um, and coming and going back to the airport. The reason why is as soon as the cab door uh, shut and the cabbie turned on the uh, radio, uh, Phil Collins came on with uh, the song Take Me Home. And uh, sometimes you just can't put all that stuff together and wonder how it all comes exactly that way. You turn on the radio and it's not halfway through the song. It's really just started. And uh, eh, fairly memorable two weeks for me. Uh, as we get ready to go, uh, we'll take a look at some of the earnings. As I said, I got some emails. Um, I'm looking at uh, if there is no uh, invasion by Russia, probably 30, maybe 40 points higher in the S&Ps on the open on Monday. Uh, if they do, um, 200 points down. So the risk reward is not very balanced at all. I'm all cash going into it. Um, but uh, we also have to think about uh, just how some of these earnings are really not that bad yet uh, as we go into it. Uh, but uh, the stories are starting to change a bit. Uh, volume on Apple is uh, fairly good. Uh, and, of course, uh, they've done much better. But all the way up through Christmas, I said one thing, and that is it was going to be a FedEx Christmas. If you could throw it on a 747 in Seoul, Korea, or uh, in uh, uh, Japan or China, and get it here and avoid all the problems with uh, uh, the shipping uh, in Long Beach, uh, that's where the action was going to be, and that's where the action actually happened. Uh, we've got a lot of earnings coming in next week also. I don't think they're going to be very good. Uh, one of the reasons why I wasn't uh, ready to go uh, south in a big way on the indexes this week was that this is the uh, strongest part of the lineup for uh, earnings. Next week, a much bigger problem. Most of those, uh, if they do okay, will be rather amazing, and uh, they can be actually fairly weak and uh, not much change. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Uh, other things going on in the market already in progress over most of TFNN uh, are the uh, earnings. Uh, let's uh, see if we can't go through those fairly quickly. Uh, Booz Hamilton, which is kind of the Palantir of its time. Not a good day for Palantir fans. Uh, to see Booz Allen, uh, and I've talked about this a, a bit, and that is if you want to really play Palantir, you probably need to be watching Booz Al uh, Allen. It wasn't really making a lot of really good signs, didn't make horrible signs, but not very good here. But uh, from the people that brought you Mr. Snowden, uh, the Booz Allen uh, folks out here blowing through the lows, the volume's already enough. Is it probably going to go a lot lower? I don't think so. But uh, kind of one of the bigger losers of the day. S Y F down about nine and a half percent is Synchrony Financial. This has broken through the lows. It's done it with volume. The next low coming up is around uh, 3730 30, 37, 30 to 3780 ish. Uh, that's the March 25th low of last year. That had 8 million shares. You already have 7.5. So you've got enough volume to pretty much push you back down to the 3770. Uh, Western Digital, um, after uh, Seagate, um, things probably looked a little bit better. Uh, it's not as it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty close. Western Digital down to its previous low of 49.50 with that had 18 million shares. You got 15 million and kind of a doji out here. A lot more energy on the way down off this January 5th high. And, of course, uh, earlier in the week you had Seagate, uh, which actually did fairly good uh, on the moment. 
uh, but almost instantly gave it all back up yesterday. So that was kind of a sign that maybe things weren't as good as everybody wanted. Uh, but uh, this is kind of what you're looking for to go short, and that is that you have to have uh, steel ones, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, to short these stocks sometimes. But that's certainly what you had at the uh, uh, move back in Seagate early yesterday morning, only to give it back up. Uh, not a whole lot down here, but certainly 100, there's a double gap or actually a triple gap at 100, which really makes me think that's where Seagate's going. Uh, we've got more on our list out here. WSC, Caterpillar, CVX, Mondelez, Juniper Networks, Charter Communications, Apple, Hood. Uh, BMI. Hood's up. One and a half. We'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ADC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we are back. And uh, hey, what do we have here? And we'll go through the other winners and losers out here. On the top end of the day is Visa, of course, higher interest rates, uh, probably making those guys and a little bit more card using this Christmas uh, pretty good, but 7.6% uh, six, uh, 7 .6 higher. Uh, you got some decent uh, rates, um, a decent pop up here. 
Uh, resistance, though, probably pretty tough at about 328. Uh, you do have a good one. I do suspect that if the market continues to head lower, that uh, this may be oh the gold fields. Why did I say that? Let's do this here. That's wrong. Fees. There we go. Um, so uh, yeah, you've got a fairly good. You got a big gap down. Uh, for Visa on the 27th of October of last year with 23 million shares. You got about 18 million shares, so it's good. But uh, yeah, you probably may have another five, six bucks in this. Uh, but uh, man, all these things, if uh, we end up selling off on Monday, uh, everything is going to sell off. So that would be it. 877-927-6648. Okay, what else do we have out here in the emails? Uh, Pete wants to know, uh, and his brother repeat, um, what's the short interest on Apple? Uh, that just came out uh, for the bi-monthly, so we'll talk about both the bi-monthly and the FINRA report data. But uh, uh, let's see, there we go. Okay. Uh, share short, 90 million shares of Apple. Short ratio is about 1%. They got a lot of shorts. Percentage of the float, about half a percent. So there's not a whole lot there, but it doesn't take much because it's you were really what you want to, you, you know, sometimes you need to look at these big companies as how much is actually in the float and not just locked away from people that have owned the thing for 90 uh, so, you know, since it was 10 bucks, which a lot of these big uh, funds have, they've had it forever. So um, you want to know how much is out there in the float that actually gets turned over. And that is actually much higher. Uh, when we look at, uh, let me find it here. Okay, we'll get Mr. Apple here. Um you know, you had 16% short yesterday. Should be, for a stock like that, probably around 8. Uh, you got cash. You got everything. So is this a giant hedge? No, but the, it's, you know, when you're really talking about this uh, or the Dow stocks, of the Dow stocks, 96% are institutionally owned. There aren't but about 4% of all the Dow stocks that have shares uh, available to trade. So when you look at those, or you look at something like Apple, 16% probably doesn't sound a lot compared to 30 or 40% that we see in things like NVIDIA. But uh, it's certainly one of those things where you get a, uh, uh, you should get a sense that 16% is actually rather large for a company that uh, was probably going to do well on earnings. I don't know of anybody that really said they were going to do poorly. But I knew a lot of people that just thought that they were overpriced, and so that was going to be it. But uh, what do we have? we got a couple of companies, really, that are left to be bulletproof, uh, one being Microsoft and the other one being uh, Apple at this point. But uh, at some point, even those turn tail and run. Let's take a quick look and see how Microsoft's doing. Uh, the more it holds 300, the better it is. Um, you did get a lot of really bad volume back here at 276.05. Uh, probably a 75% chance that you retest that. Uh, and my guess is you'd retest it fairly quickly if the invasion of uh, the Ukraine goes on this weekend. Um, as I put it uh, earlier, 50% uh, chance, maybe more, but I'm going to put it at a 50% chance so I don't uh, get over the tips of my skis with any kind of position. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, 30, 40 points higher uh, for the S&P on Monday morning. If nothing happens, then 200 points lower if something does happen. And uh, I don't feel warm and fuzzy uh, when uh, you have uh, generals coming up saying they're going to fight disinformation. I don't think Putin gives one rat's ass about what these guys think that they're going to do by uh, issuing propaganda. The reality will be that they own the Ukraine. 877-927-6648. Um, OK. 
Okay. Anyway, yeah, you got some decent short interest on a daily basis. And again, that's a li- you, you even though it's only 1% of the overall shares, just remember that probably only about 10% or maybe 5% of Apple shares ever trade in a week. So if you got 1%, that's that's pretty high. Um, you don't have to trade that much of Apple to be a big deal. Now, if it's not institutionally owned, that's a much bigger deal on other things. Okay, what else do we have? We'll go back here. Uh, 167.03. What is my uh, belief uh, on the close today? Uh, From Jeremy, he said, I think uh, we could close around uh, 43.50. And that's kind of where we were looking. I knew that when we were up higher this morning, it probably wouldn't hold. And uh, lower, it wasn't going to hold. Uh, as we said yesterday, uh, generally in these big moves in the market, they're going to make you sweat all the way through the weekend if you hold a position. Uh, I'm not going to sweat at all. I'm going to take it easy. We've got a big festival here uh, in Tampa this weekend. And... Uh, what I'll do is get a lot of sleep on Sunday and start looking uh, at trading at 7 o'clock Sunday night. Uh, give me an email at path at tfnn.com. Okay. Uh, Caterpillar, a question on that. C-A-T. Um, probably rather predictable, a lot about what they're talking about going forward. Uh, and that is, uh, is interest rates go higher, a lot of the things that take a, a lot of cash are harder to get. And so I'm not really surprised that they're kind of thinking uh, that if interest rates are going higher, uh, that uh, Caterpillar and their business is probably going a little lower. Uh, you have a lot of volume. Uh, next low out here is 109, or excuse me, 190.44 at 3.5 million shares. You already have 6 million Almost 7 million shares on the downside today. So not really good doing well on that. Uh, U.S. Steel a little stronger today. Um, Probably just too many shorts in the market on that. Uh, But really nothing to write home about other than maybe too hard. Uh, The uh, Robin Hood uh, folk were out uh, talking on uh, the... the, uh, uh, CNBC's uh, financial entertainment shows. Um, probably a little too short, too, on that right now. Got a little bit of a bounce back, but in the scheme of things, a dead cat bounce and a uh, downtrend that started August 4th of 2000. We'll be back in a bit. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, uh, as you said, Robin Hood, a little bounce out here, but I think that's what's going on. And yes, I have a question of where I think the market's going to close today, and that's 4350. Probably fairly close, unless we get some news before the end of the day. My guess is we may vary up and down. Uh, the real action is going to be Sunday night, Monday, uh, depending on what happens in the Ukraine. Uh, and no, I don't tend to predict it very much. I do put odds on it. If I'm over 80%, I'm generally pretty much wrong. Uh, but uh, you know what? 50% um, tells me I really don't have an edge on what happens. But uh, certainly the risk reward says that I want to be all cash uh, going into Sunday, Sunday night when everything back, opens back up. But man, if the stars... There isn't a if for Russia. There isn't going to be a better time to do it uh, with the Chinese markets closed, and uh, they can uh, at least not irritate two other world powers, but just one. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We got it back here. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got uh, people pushing uh, new conspiracy theories. Uh, that is, the Planeteer guys took out the bridge so that they could get more money for infrastructure. Well, I don't know. Uh, my guess is, that when I saw it, it was a, a bridge way out in the middle of the woods. It didn't look like anybody went across it anyway. But, uh, eh, what can I say? Uh, weirder things have happened. Anything to distract from uh, what's going on now, I would imagine. Wag the dog, as they say in politics. Uh, to, to what else do we have? Uh, take a look at Mondelez, MDLZ. And yeah, down a little bit here. What is this? Uh, off 3%. Is the end of the world for this one? No, you're at support. Why well, you got a little bounce off the lows here. Still not good. Uh, my guess is a downtrend maybe to 62-ish. Got a low at 58.2, which uh, could be problematic. We looked at uh, that uh, OLN. Olin, maker of many chemicals. Uh, I remember buying uh, their products early for... Uh, Cleaning my gun and other stuff like that. I wonder if that's the same thing. Uh, eh, a little rollover off here off the top, but eh, I don't see a whole lot in that. Looked at uh, that. Uh, what do I think about Clack? K L A C. Another semi. Well, you got half volume. You're certainly at support. You can see that today. Uh, gapped up on 2.3 million shares on the uh, October 28th. You're back into that with 1.3 million shares. That's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, the downside is uh, what 
uh, people take away uh, from this weekend and geopolitical events. So that is problematic. Again, I wouldn't be sticking my neck out. I'd much rather react to what happens early next week than uh, think anything else. Uh, question about uh, BMI, another earnings uh, loser, or winner, actually. Uh, kind of a, a, a little back, not a huge uh, volume stock, but a uh, nice move out here today. A couple hundred thousand, a hundred thousand shares. What is this? 120,000 shares back on the other part. Uh, let's take a look at PLTR. Well, actually not bad here. This is another one testing previous lows. Not as bad as Booz Hamilton. Uh, $11.75 with 111 million shares. You got 44 today. But again, this all has to do, especially with Planeteer, about uh, geopolitical events. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Hang on a second here. Um, okay. I'll answer that as soon as I get off the air. Uh, what else do we have? Colgate, Palmolive, not doing much. PSX, take a look at that. Which is kind of interesting. Phillips 66, uh, down... You got a little bit of volume out here, but I would say that's the end of it. Uh, hard for me to think that nothing or much of anything actually changes. I do think you're kind of in a, 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 a triangle out here, so you're probably going to hover around 85. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for someplace uh, safe to play and you you just feel like you got to be in something over the weekend, uh, the only thing that looks good at all is energy. And, you know, I mean, you got to think that maybe there's a few things that could move higher on bad new geopolitical news. But crude oil, probably one of the better ones out there. Philip 66, not a bad sign out here on earnings. But again, looks to me like 85 ish is where this thing wants to come hold around. Uh, <laughs> Uh, eh, eh, we shall see. For like I said, I'm putting it at a 50 percent uh, rate, up for 25 percent a week ago. Um, so uh, we shall see. Uh, two 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 eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight path at tfnn dot com. Uh, do, 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 do. What else do we have? Monolith, Caterpillar, CS. I want to take a look at CVX. Uh, and Chevron. Same kind of thing. Uh, you had earnings. Maybe it was a little out over the tips of their skis, but my guess is this thing's probably going to settle around 130. Um, but probably up on Monday if nothing happens. Probably flat if something does happen, or maybe a little higher. Uh, but I can't think much of it. Uh, what do I think about gold these days? Um, it shouldn't have broke. It did break. Um, this uh, I didn't get into it yesterday. I kind of started and my train of thought derailed and went somewhere else. But uh, gold really looks to me like it wants to come back uh, on the GLD back to 160.97. That's the low back here of uh, September 29th. Uh, and, uh, you know, you should have been able to blow it out this week. You didn't. Uh, you had the volume. It still didn't do it. Uh, the higher interest rates from uh, Powell, you'd really have to see him double back, I think, on any of this. But I think what we have is higher interest rates. It kills the economy. Not only does it kill the economy, it puts us back into a deflationary spiral. And that's probably the best answer I can come up with on why gold is not acting and hasn't acted correctly for a while. The deflationary spiral that could start. Back up.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, well, looks like we're going to have a special guest following the Power Trading Hour, and that is the one and only Basil Chapman, uh, the man from South Africa, the tennis pro, the man, the legend, Basil Chapman. Doing yeoman's work today, by the way. I, I find it hard doing 30 minutes, much less an hour. Uh, him doing a double, triple duty today, uh, yeoman's work. Look forward to him wrapping up the week. Uh, and that's kind of it for uh, that. We got about a minute, a uh, couple minutes to go. But uh, that's it. Uh, looking for kind of a flat uh, close out here. We'll see how close that does come uh, to that. Um, I was thinking around 4350-ish. Uh, we'll see. Um, what the close brings in. But, uh, you know, I'm a big fan, uh, and everybody knows it's listened for a long time, of the Karate Kid and Mr. Miyagi saying the best way to avoid fight, not be there. Well, I think there's probably going to be a fight. I don't know which way it's going to go, but uh, don't have to. Um, I can just react on Sunday night or Monday, depending on what happens. In the meantime, I've got all my cash in a basket, and uh, I can change my uh, ideas or theses at will. 
uh, and not have to worry about uh, taking a big hit uh, over the weekend. And sometimes that's uh, worth more than the money that you could make if you don't know the outcome of a binary decision, which is certainly what we're going to see this uh, see on Monday. Yes or no? Probably not getting a little pregnant going into training. Uh, Hang on for Basil. And as always, so when you can, which I did, instead of when I have to, which I didn't. And we'll see you here Monday. Same bat channel, same bat channel.